If you're a fan of classic horror movies, you might like this classic horror oracle. I saw this one on Amazon and immediately knew that I just had to purchase it. I absolutely love the primary colors and the illustrations in this deck. And for some reason, I just find classic horror movies to be so cozy. I know that's really weird, but I, I'm sure other people would agree with me. There's something very cozy about them because a lot of them are like vintage and a lot of classic horror movies aren't actually that scary. Although some of the more modern scary movies like Hereditary are very freaky. When I shared this deck on Instagram recently and said that I just had to pick it up, I had a few people telling me that they didn't really vibe with the artwork intuitively. Like it was hard for them to pick up intuitive messages just by looking at the cards and for me personally I have to disagree with that quite strongly. I feel like I get so many messages from the cards even if I don't innately or immediately know what movie it is exactly. I feel like the movie relevancy doesn't really matter necessarily because there is a lot of energy in the cards even without understanding their movie connection. There are just so many small symbols and energies and it just feels very visceral to look at this deck which is actually why I really loved it. I feel like it really allows your intuition to kick in so that you can pick up on different elements of the cards and different energies within a lot of the emotions in their faces. This oracle deck also includes 50 cards, which is very impressive for an oracle deck. They usually tend to stray a little bit smaller, so 50 card deck is really nice. And I love that there are very positive cards like love, and then there are of course more frightening and more negative cards as well. I feel like that just helps to give such a good overall reading because our lives, as I've mentioned numerous times in my videos, our lives are filled with positive and negative things. So it's really nice to have a deck that shows both. As well as other human emotions like shock and suspicion, I feel like that is, these ones are just so fun to have in a reading to really dive deeper into a circumstance, situation, etc. My plan with this deck is to use it to do a lot of shadow work and to get a lot of insight into some of my kind of current healing process that I'm in. And I feel like this one is going to be very good for that. Let me know what you think of this deck. Would you purchase or pass?